Are you a cop? Are you drunk? Am I drunk? Yeah. While you're done, Where's your car? No, I'm not. Well, so That's my Fifth answer, Amendment right. So if you don't answer questions, then I don't answer questions. You're a public servant, sir. Mm -hmm. I pay you to okay. do your job. All right. You understand that, you right? You live here in town? I don't answer questions. So then you now, don't I pay, pay you. You're a public servant, okay? Right. You get that? Mm -hmm. I pay you. Absolutely. So I ask you questions because you say, you, right now you're okay. infringing on my Fourth Amendment right of okay. freedom of travel. Okay. Okay? That's so, your Fourth Amendment right, so, freedom of travel? Yes, freedom to my, my privacy of persons, property, and traveling. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. So I know you didn't know that, but I just taught you something. Well, I appreciate it. Thank so you. anyway, you're an idiot. Bro, all right, look, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up so you think there's nothing. Um, you just call me an idiot. I know you got your qualified immunity. I get it, but taxpayers ain't gonna like you because they're gonna be paying my. All I'm saying is I don't give a you're saying honestly. I'm trying to do your here. investigation. Do your investigation. You do you your like investigation. You're intoxicated. Dude, I'm not intoxicated. Well, you look like it. Well, it Maybe sucks. To get you your eyes fixed. What's in your bag? Right. Man, we'll take care of it. Thank you. What's your badge number, please? 2101. 2101. What's, what's your name? That's your girl, though. Well, appreciate you. She literally just started yelling at me, bro. Standing on the sidewalk, she's yelling at me. Uh, right. She's telling us that you're over here, like, peeing on her car and everything. She, no. Can you tell she You look at her eyes, you can't tell she Can I deal on you? No. Why not? Because it's my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my personal no, property. No, not when you're suspected of a crime. What crime? You're near Bro, all right, look. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to America's Worst Cops. Today's video is taking place in Margaret City, New Jersey, and it involves the Margaret City Police Department. A couple of days ago, this guy was recording this interaction between him and the police, but prior to that, an incident had occurred between him and some type of Karen. Before I forget, this video is coming to us from The Constitutionalist, so make sure you head on over to his channel and give him credit for this video. So like I said, this video took place a couple days ago, and the things that led up to the police interaction are this. The guy was outside his friend's Airbnb waiting for him to come down so that they could hit the nightlife on this beach. In doing so, he's outside near the cars, the parking lot of the Airbnb. Well, a certain type of Karen comes out of her front door and starts shouting at this guy telling him that he's near her car, that he shouldn't be on the sidewalk, that he shouldn't be looking over towards her house, and all types of crazy things. Well, after a while, she finally comes off her porch and starts to confront him. And that's when this guy pulls his phone out and starts recording her. You're your real ice tea, your alcoholic ice tea. What's going on, officer? What's going on? Nothing. Just hanging out. Touching my car? Uh, name, What's in your pocket? Wait, name, 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 name and badge number, please. My name's Officer Donovan. Officer Donovan. Badge pocket? number 292. 292. What's in your pocket? Right. We'll take care of it, thank you. What's your badge number, please? 2101. 2101. What's going on? What's your name? Officer Borilla. Well, appreciate you. She literally just started yelling at me, bro. Standing on the sidewalk, she's yelling at me. Uh, right. She's telling us that you're over here, like, peeing on her car and everything. She, no. Can you tell you look at her eyes, you can't tell she's an ID on you? No. So these cops are demanding ID over what the woman said. Let's rewind a little bit to see exactly what happened. You're your real ice tea, your alcoholic ice tea. She said, she said I touched her car. What are you doing lurking around my car? This is private property. My car is on private. This is a public sidewalk. You were touching this my car. This is a public car. sidewalk right you here. Touched this my car. is a public sidewalk. You touched my car. Are you a cop? Are you drunk? Am I drunk? Yeah. Your eyes look bloodshot. You are look you fucked a cop? up. You look fucked up. I may? Maybe? Well, let's call, let's call the cops. Let's get Go them ahead, to the cops. Yeah. With your open container. Yeah. Go ahead. Bro, she's fucked. I literally stand there waiting for my friend to come out here. She's like, don't touch my car. I'm sorry. I, I ain't say nothing. Yo, do me a favor. I ain't gonna try. I'm trying not to get, get you in there or nothing, you know? Officer, I'm at 292. 
292? What's your number? All right. Man, what was they care for? Thank you. What's your badge number, please? 2101. 2101. What's going on? What's your name? Officer Boyle. Well, appreciate you. She literally just started yelling at me, bro. I'm standing on the sidewalk, she's yelling at me. All right. All right. She's telling us Shit. that you're over here, like, peeing on her car and everything. She, no. Can you tell she <laughs> You look at her eyes, you can't tell she <laughs> Can I deal on you? No. Why not? Because it's my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my person's no, property. No, not when you're suspected of a crime. What crime? You're an idiot? Bro, all right, look. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up so you think there's nothing. Um, you just call me an idiot? No, I said you're a nation of oh. public. Who peed? Go find the pee. Show me where the pee is. So right now. Show me where the pee is. Right now you're being suspected of a crime. Okay, show me where the pee is. You have to give me your ID. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? I'm telling you, I'm a constitutional activist, sir. One. I know y'all are young. They throw you out here in the beach to try and catch stupid young kids. But I'm not young, hey, and I'm not stupid. Trust me. Trust me, it's gonna be a check, yo. A check. I hope you know what's going on here. Got my sergeant coming out. Cool. How about you talk Appreciate to him? you. Or her. Appreciate Appreciate you. You. All right. Give me a minute. So I am being detained. Right now you are. For the crime of. Urinating in public. Public urination. And what, what evidence do you have besides she said it? So she reported it. Okay, so what we evidence? Over here, what what just, physical she, evidence? She, she said what? What so did she say exactly? That you were peeing on her car. Okay, so where's her car? Listen. Where's her car? We're not where's her car? Do you know where her car is? Did you investigate? So, did you so, investigate or you just took her word and so gave it to me? I'm trying to investigate, but you're not letting okay, me. Okay, so I'm trying to help you with your investigation right now, okay? Where's her car? By not providing ID. Where's her car? So what That's my right to not provide ID. Where's her car? What, what were you doing Where's her car? Right I don't answer questions. Where's her car? Well, you're done. Where's her car? No, I'm not. Well, so if That's you my don't Fifth answer, Amendment right. So if you're you don't answer questions, then I don't answer questions. You're a public servant, sir. Mm -hmm. I pay you to okay. do your job. All right. You understand that, right? You live here in town? I don't answer questions. So then you now, pay I me. pay you. You're a public servant, okay? Right. You get that? Mm -hmm. I pay you. Absolutely. So I ask you questions because you say, you, right now you're okay. infringing on my Fourth Amendment right of okay. freedom of travel. Okay. Okay? That's so, your Fourth Amendment right, so, freedom of travel? Yes, freedom to my, my privacy of persons, property, and traveling. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. So I know you didn't know that, but I just taught you something. Well, I appreciate it. Thank so you. anyway, where's her car? I'm going to help you with your investigation. Where's her car? So we're going to wait for the supervisor to get here. Where's her car? Oh, because you can't handle it, right? No, so I, I don't feel because like... Because you don't know you. the law, right? Correct. Because you were sent through six weeks, right. six weeks of cop training where they you're didn't right. teach you nothing about the law. They taught you how to put people down on their faces and handcuff them. Okay. All right, okay. folks. I'm going to stop the video there and explain a few things. Firstly, this guy exercising his rights is 100% correct. He has a Fourth Amendment right to be secure from unreasonable searches and seizures he has a Fifth Amendment right to not answer questions or incriminate himself. And he has his First Amendment right to record these officers in the course of their duty and say whatever he wants to them. The burden of proof does not fall on the individual to claim their innocence. The burden of proof falls on those that are accusing that individual. For instance, these officers, they need reasonable, articulable suspicion that this guy committed a crime rather than take this woman's claims. What I mean by that is that if they're going to suspect him of urinating in public, don't you think they should find where this guy actually urinated at? They shouldn't just automatically grab his ID, put his name down into their report and dismiss it as nothing. That's not how police work. Another thing is that if these officers were doing their job, they would have understood that this lady has bloodshot eyes, pupils dilated, skin is red and flush, and then whatever she's claiming probably cannot be taken too serious. However, these police officers seem like they just want to get a quick arrest and get on about their night. Uh -huh. Sure. So you got nothing to say, right? That, so that's what, that's what think, I know. Really, okay. That's what's facts. Okay. All right. I know so more than you think I know. I, I promise okay. you. Why are you so hostile? Because y'all just detained me. Y'all just violated my Fourth Amendment right to travel. They, and, and did no investigation. You did no investigation. You went off of her word. So I'm telling you, look. Every minute of my time is worth $10,000. So every minute that you detain me outside of your time to detain me, I want $10,000, all right? And I'm going to take it to court. Best believe you got the point zero 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 one percent that is willing to do it. Promise you. I don't care. Promise you. Well, look, I know you got your qualified immunity. I get it. But taxpayers ain't going to like you because they're going to be paying my
All I'm saying is I don't give a shit what you're saying, honestly. I'm trying to do your investigation. Do your investigation. You do look your like investigation. You're intoxicated. Dude, I'm not intoxicated. Well, you look like it. Well, it Maybe sucks. Get you your, your eyes your fixed. Face. Get your eyes fixed. Right, you look like a drunk. This person. sucks to suck, bro. Then what are you doing out here? None of your business. You're just hanging out being None like, of your business. Being weird or None something? of your business. Yeah, you're not gonna hurt my feelings, trust me. No matter what y'all say, your job is to gather information and I'm not gonna give it to you, so don't even try. Okay. I promise you, wait for the supervisor. Got real quiet over there. You gonna finish your investigation or what? I'm waiting for a you know what car you know what car she's in? I'm waiting for you know a supervisor. what car? I'm waiting for a so you so you are capable of, of, of actually helping? Right there. You can talk to her. Hey. Okay. Yeah, the job Y'all caught a good one today. Do we? Yeah. Can I get your first name at least? No. No, you don't want to no. do that? You don't want to be cordial no. at all? No. I don't give a f cordial. Alright. Why do you like this, man? Because you just violated my Fourth Amendment. I didn't. You were. I, you walked up and detained me without ev any oh, evidence no. of a crime. You here? went off of her word Look, and said well, I committed a crime. You we know, got here, you were already recording and being hostile. I wasn't trying right, to bro, be, I'm not even yeah. trying to talk to you honestly. I'm, I'm not trying, even trying to talk I'm to you honestly. To I don't you. I don't care, bro. Your job is to gather information and I'm not going to give it to you. Okay? okay I don't, I don't even want to talk Re respectfully. I'm sorry if I if I'm being <laughs> I'm not into my getting my rights get, violated. I'm a constitutional care. activist, so I don't so this is what I do. Right, that's, so that's so a, so what I'm saying is I'd rather not have any con respectfully I'd have I'd like to have no conversation with you. Interesting Yep, appreciate it. So what was that? Right? She said you can't do nothing, right? You can go. Appreciate you. Hey, and Really, I appreciate you. What's your name? Sergeant Arcuri. Arcuri? Arcuri? Appreciate you. You know your job. You know your rights. Appreciate you. you. Good That's night. good. Just go ahead. I'm Get out of here. Well, so right now you're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna step over here on the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you. But appreciate you. Have a good one. All right, fellas. Peace out. Have a good one. Okay. You feel stupid? Not really. You should. All right. Thank you. You got it. Have a good day. Cool. You're visibly shaking. I, I don't give a what you say, bro. Really, you should just go. Really, make your so make I'm your department, make your Longport, New Jersey, the de police department look good, and be the fuck. Peace. Peace, dog. Supervisor said, be out. Yes, you should go too. Okay, I will. I will when I feel like it. What's up, bro? Peace out. No, okay. Go ahead. Be a dick. What's your name? Name and badge number, please. Sergeant Hutchinson, 218. Sergeant Dick, right? Yeah. None of your business. None of your business. How about that? All right. All right peace out. No, you can stay in here all night. I'll stay in here all night, bro. Trust me. Y'all caught the wrong one today. I do this. You don't look like you're playing. I'm not playing either. You're right. I'm not. Okay. Peace out. Skate off, dog. See how long it takes. How much of our taxpayer money is being wasted with them standing here knowing I've committed no crime, but sitting here talking about it. He's got to drop his ego and do his job. He really want to, oh, he want to drop me right now, but he got to just keep pushing because he's getting paid by me. What y'all get paid by the hour? How much your benefits and everything? Is this a use? Is it? Is this a good use of your tax paid time? Keep my distance, I got about 10 feet between us. Yo, hold up, y'all all right? You don't gotta give him no information, for real. You ain't gotta tell him nothing. I was, I was just asking her how her day Okay, I'm just letting you know. Can you go off there properly? So you know, yeah, I can, absolutely. I live here, so I'm thanking okay. you all, all right. for doing all right. such a good job. All right, appreciate you, have a good night, y'all.
And what do you know, folks? Nothing happens. These officers were completely wrong and off base. And the fact that this guy asked if the other officer felt stupid, and he's like, oh, no, no, I didn't. That's the problem with policing in America, folks. There's a lot of arrest people now, detain people now, and then ask questions later. And that's what we need to fix with policing. We need to hold them accountable by recording them and questioning them and pressing them whenever they mess up. This guy recording behind the camera is doing an awesome job, and that's how some people need to understand how to exercise their rights. This just goes to show how predatorial they are when it comes to addressing people of the public. At no point did they actually have proof that this guy did what this lady was claiming. At no point did they actually do their job and investigate an area that she supposedly claimed this guy peed on her car. If officers fail to go about their procedures, there should be some type of consequence to that. He's probably just going to get a, hey, don't do that again, and be on your merry way. Props to this guy for standing his ground, exercising his rights, and getting these cops to kick rocks. Make sure you all subscribe to his channel, and I'll see you all over in the comments.